day one, I spawned in as a warden wither in the middle of an ancient city. I only had 20 hearts, which isn't much for a warden wither. Son, we're so glad you made it. Yes, with your existence, there can finally be peace between the Nether and the Deep Dark. Just then, my grandfather, who was the King of the Deep, came forward. What is this? You've directly disobeyed my orders. Father, I can explain. Enough! I don't want to hear any more from you. Can this Wither Warden abomination understand me? Yeah, I can. Good! You are hereby banished from this kingdom. For being part Wither, you disgusting beast. What? No! It's okay, son. This is all part of our plan. You will build up your strength and grow powerful enough to unite the two kingdoms. Son, I thought I told you to get your wife out of my sight. This is the last straw. With that, the Deep King used his powers to kill my Wither Mom. Mom! No! How could you? That was my wife and your grandson's mother. I always hated her, you know. Now, leave before I kill you as well. Fine, we're leaving, you evil monster. Desperate times call for desperate measures, son. My father and I left together and made it to a different part of the caves. Dad, what's going on? Why was Mom killed? For centuries, there's been a war between the Wardens and the Army of the Withered. It's gone on so long we can't even remember why it started, but the violence won't stop. Your mom and I had been trying to come up with a solution when we realized it was right in front of us. You, you gain power, you will unite both worlds and finally bring peace. I know it is possible. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. Yes, but I know you can handle it. Come on, let's rebuild our city. On day two, my dad and I got to work building our own version of an ancient city. My dad helped me mine some stone and iron and handed me some wood to make iron tools. Once the tools were finished, I discovered I still had enough iron for armor too. With that, it was time to start building. As we were building, my dad explained to me how this would be the new kingdom of the deep and it would grow to do so much good for all of Minecraftia. Once a good chunk of it was finished, we decided that was enough work for the time being. It's starting to look just how I remember it. Now what are we gonna do, Dad? Well, since we're on our own now, we're gonna need a sustainable source of food. Follow my lead. We started making a big pool-like structure, and then my dad handed me some string. I crafted myself a fishing rod and a bucket, and I set out to explore. I found a lush cave and started collecting as many berries and fish as I could. Once I had collected enough, I started grabbing bucketfuls of water. I was grabbing my last bucketful when suddenly a big water creature got enraged at me. He didn't like me stealing his resources. Suddenly, my sword transformed into an epic wither ability. I fought him off as best as I could. He was pretty tough, but my wither attack was a huge help, and in the end, I came out on top, and I was ready to go back to my dad. When I returned home, I told my dad all about my adventure, while we set up our new fishing area in a crystal cave behind my house. You're becoming a strong warden wither, son. I see a lot of your mom in you. She would be proud. Thanks, Dad. On day three, I woke up expecting to start another day with my dad, but I looked around and realized I couldn't find him anywhere. Uh, where could he be? I hope he's okay. Suddenly, I heard a strange noise nearby. Somebody was watching me. Hello? Who's there? I don't want to have to fight you. I spotted some glowing eyes peeking out from the shadows. Hey, man, are we cool? What do you want? She didn't answer. Nothing? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to kill you with my wither abilities. Wait, no. Don't kill me! Out of the shadows emerged a tiny little wither creature. Whoa, hey! Who are you? My name's Ghost. I live down in the deep all by myself. I lost my family a while ago and I haven't seen them in so long. Aw, that's sad. I'm actually looking for my dad. Maybe we can work together. Well, that's actually why I'm here. I saw somebody taking your dad away. What? No way! What did it look like? Well, kind of like you. What do you mean, like me? Well... Like half of you. Another warden? That must be my grandfather. No, the other half of you. W -w 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 Wither? Yeah, that's the one. Well, come on. We gotta save him. You know how to get to the nether? Uh. 
the nether? On day four, I started to gather the stuff we need to get to the nether. Using my skills my dad had taught me, I went mining for diamonds and was able to find enough to make a diamond tool set. With that done, I went to collect some obsidian. It took a long time to mine, but eventually we were able to gather enough. When I returned to the base, the Deep King was there waiting for me. Deep King, you're gonna pay for what you did to my mother. No, you're going to pay for existing. My evil grandfather started blasting at my base, destroying everything my dad and I had worked to build. Stop, please, my dad is gone. I can't rebuild this without his help. <laughs> you will die here without your father. No, I won't. When I get stronger, I will have all the power of my mom and dad combined. That will never work. We are in war to our opposites. They will cancel each other out. With that, the Deep King left, and I got to work rebuilding the base the best I could. With Ghost's help, I was actually able to do a good job. We built things back better than they ever were. I knew if my dad was here, he would be proud of the work we did. Ha! See, Grandfather, I can do this without my dad. Ghost was so helpful that I decided to build a space for her too. I added lava decorations all around the outside and lanterns to light the place up. When it was finished, she had a little hut that would fit all of her needs. I hope this place makes you feel at home. Thanks, Fonzo, it does. I also hoped I could help her find her family one day. With that, it was time to turn in for the night and get some rest. On days five and six, I lit up the nether portal and we were ready to journey into the nether. I can't wait to explore a new world. When we stepped through the portal, we were immediately greeted by the Wither Army. It was a group of Wither Skeletons and their leader, the Whisperer, towering above them. The Wither Skeletons all sprung into action to attack us. Ghost and I fought off the Wither Skeletons the best we could. Their Wither power was strong, but it was only half effective against me since I was half Wither. Before we could beat them all, the Whisperer snuck away. I used my Wither Skeletons to beat them back, and eventually we had defeated all of the Wither Skeletons. We got to follow where that Whisperer went off to. Roger that. We tried to follow her trail, but we lost it. Instead, we accidentally wandered right into a camp full of piglins. Boy. Where are you two going in such a hurry? Oof, I've never seen such an ugly thing in my life. And who's this little one? Oh, me? I'm Ghost. Nice to meet you. Oh, no, Ghost. I don't think these guys are our friends. We better take him into the boss man. What do you say? I can't. I'm looking for a giant wither creature called a Whisperer. I gotta go. You make one small move and we'll shoot 20 arrows in you, 50 in your friend, just cause we can. I looked around and realized there were way too many of them for me to handle on my own. All right, we'll go with you. On days seven and eight, we were taken to the Piglin's main base and brought in front of the Piglin King. All right, I'll get straight to the point. Which side are you on? What do you mean? I mean, what side are you on? Warden or Willa? Hmm, you tell me first. Hmm, all right, look him up. Wait, no, I'm whichever side you're on. Ghost and I were taken to the jail, but Ghost was brought into another room. Ghost, I'll come find you. I was put into a cell right next to some kind of creeper spider hybrid. Hey buddy, what are you in for? What do you mean, what am I in for? My army fights for the wither. Huh, so the piglins must be on the warden's side. Interesting. I needed a plan to escape, and I knew just how my spider creeper friend could help me out. I started trying to make him angry. Boy, I sure do love cats. What? I just love cats so much. Their cute little faces, their tails, and their soft fuzzy fur. The spider creeper shuddered in disgust. Please stop talking about cats. I think I'm gonna be sick. You know what else I love? Wardens. They're totally gonna win this war. They're so much stronger and better than the Withers. The spider creeper ran at me in a rage and exploded right next to our cell door, blowing a hole in it. Yes! I escaped the room as quickly as I could and went to find Ghost. I was searching for Ghost when I ran into some piglins. I fought them off with my wither powers and was able to take them all out. I continued into another room where I discovered Ghost in a cage with a giant mutant hoglin. 
I needed to help her. And fast. I'm coming, ghost. I broke open the cage and started fighting the mutant hoglin, but it was super strong. I used all of my abilities, but I still wasn't strong enough. It was time for a change of plans. Come on, ghost. Let's get out of here. We found our way out of the base and managed to make it away unscathed. As we were leaving, the piglin king shouted after us. You will never make peace between the two kingdoms. Not if I have anything to say about it. He turned to his best hunter. As you wish, my lord. We made it back to the portal, but just as we were about to go through, the mutant hoglin landed right in front of us. The hunter came up from behind. Well, well, well. I see you've met my pet. Looks like we have you surrounded. The hoglin stepped forward, giving us just enough space to get through the portal. Now, ghost! The two of us made a break for the portal, and luckily we made it through just in time. I broke the portal behind us. That was close. Hopefully they can't make a portal of their own. On days 11 through 13, I couldn't believe I still hadn't found my dad. Great. We didn't find my dad, and now there's a crazy pig trying to hunt us down. Don't worry, Bronzo. I'm sure we'll find him soon enough. In the meantime, my dad would want me to continue building on the base to make it as big and grand as he wanted it to be. I kept working on the ancient city because it served as a symbol of hope for Warden Kind and Wither Kind, thanks to Ghost. I also decided that since I'm half Wither, I could add some nether touches I collected while I was there. When it was done, I stepped back to admire my work. Looks great. I just wish Wardens and Wither could get along because this makes this proof of how awesome things could be if they work together. Maybe I could try asking the Deep King for aid. Since the mutant hoglin is just way too powerful, maybe he can ask the piglin king to call off the hunter. It's worth a try, I guess. I'll join you. Not this time. You should stay and guard this place. It's not safe for you there. All right. You don't need to tell me twice. I set out for the ancient city where I was born and approached the gates, but I was stopped by two warden guards. Excuse me. I'm here to see my grandfather. No. Why not? He's busy doing important war stuff. Fine. Can I at least get into the city to do some shopping? Come on. I'm half royalty. Yeah, and half sworn enemy. But fine, as long as you're stimulating our economy. Thanks, losers. Once I was in, I ignored the guards and went straight to the war room. I entered, and the Deep King was in there all alone. Grandfather, I need your help. Please. You. How dare you enter my war room without permission? Those guards will die for letting you back into this city. Please, these differences shouldn't matter. Family is forever, and that's more important than any made-up war between kingdoms. Your son was captured, and a hunter piglin with his mutant hoglin is running rampant looking for me. You have the power to call off the hunter. Please help me, and I'll forgive you for what you did to my mother. Of course I won't help you, fool. I don't know why you even came here. Leave now before I kill you for good. On days 14 through 17, I started wandering out of the city, dejected and disappointed in my grandfather. Before I reached the outskirts, I ran into a Vex who stopped me. Hey, listen, I was eavesdropping on your conversation. My name's Ducky. I'm friends with your father. Oh yeah? Can you help me defeat a giant mutant hoglin? Well, no. I'm just a little fella, but I do have some information about an item that will give you massive amounts of power. There's a withered nether star that is being held in the outskirts of the city. The magic it holds is what allowed you to be born. Hmm, okay. How does that help me? If you consume it, it will allow you to take on a new, more powerful form. You'll just have to fight a withered symbiote to get it. Ducky gave me directions to the cave, and I set out to find where it was hidden. I entered the cave, and the withered symbiote was there waiting for me. None shall pass by order of the warden and wither. Warden and wither? That's my parents! They would want me to get through, so I'll just- None shall pass! None shall pass! All right, you asked for it! I charged at the symbiote and started blasting it with my powers, but they weren't very effective against a withered creature. It had a bunch of crazy powers that were super effective against me though, and he quickly started wearing down my health. He blasted me with fireballs and then summoned a bunch of infected mobs. I spotted some creepers in the mix, so I used them to clear out the others. After that, the symbiote sent evoker fangs in my direction, and then he shot me with shulker bullets. 
bullets. I couldn't believe that my parents could create a creature so powerful to protect their star. Uh-oh, this isn't good. I remembered that the withered nether star was supposed to make me much stronger. So I just flew past the symbiote and grabbed the star as fast as I could. I consumed it and I immediately transformed into a new warden wither form with giant freaky hands coming out of my chest. I also gained 10 more hearts. I'm so strong now. All right, time to finally take you down. The symbiote charged at me. With my new form, I was much more powerful. It tried its best to attack me with the same powers and even used a black hole effect to try to lure me in closer. But my new strength was no match. With just two hearts left, I managed to hit the monster from behind and it died in a huge puff of smoke. On my way out, I spotted the guards from earlier searching for me. I didn't want to hurt them, so I flew above them, knowing that they couldn't hear me if I fly, and I made my escape into the caves. On days 18 through 21, I returned to my base and Ghost took notice of my new form. Whoa, you look freaky, but in a good way. Thanks, Ghost. I defeated a big scary monster to get it and consumed a wither nether star. Ooh, that's interesting. <sighs> What's wrong, little fella? I think I want to go find my family. I miss them so much. Well, that's reasonable. I can help you find them if you'd like. I can protect you now that I'm more powerful. That would be awesome. Ghost took me over to where she last saw her family, but all that was there was a bunch of bones. I was playing over here, and when I was ready to go, I turned around and my whole family was gone. Just then, I heard something very faintly that sounded like a cry for help. Help! We quickly followed the sound and found a huge hole. We looked down and Ghost's family was at the bottom of it. Mom, Dad, you were down there the whole time? The floor collapsed on us and we haven't been able to get out since. All of a sudden, the hunter piglin appeared behind us. Finally, I found you. Oh no, we gotta run, Ghost. We took off running from the hunter, wondering if the mutant hoglin might be nearby too. As we were running, we ran through a group of spiders. Just keep moving! Luckily, I was able to fly past their webs and Ghost weaved her way through. I looked behind me and saw the hunter piglin got stuck. Yeah. We kept running and eventually spotted some moonlight. Over there! We decided anything was better than being chased by the hunter and ran outside as fast as we could. When we stepped outside, we were surrounded by a group of creepers and creeper spiders. The hunter caught up to us in the mouth of the cave and stopped. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Take them away. They closed in on us and I was able to fly up to get away, but Ghost and the hunter were both caught. I was too scared to fight, so I flew away. But eventually I had to stop and think. I had lost both my dad and my best friend. It was time to stop being scared and start retaliating. I'm a warden with her after all. I figured before I went to save Ghost, I should probably help her family out of the hole. I went back to the place where they fell and flew them out one by one. Thanks for the help. So, uh um, where'd Ghost go? There's no time to explain. Head back to my base, and I promise the next time you see me, I'll have Ghost with me. Huh, that's vaguely ominous. All right. On days 26 through 29, I made it back to the place I left them, but they were nowhere to be found. All that was left was the big creeper spider. Where are they? Tell me! Well, if you hadn't run away like a little baby, you'd be with them right now, locked away. I sprung into action to fight the creeper spider, and it was all going pretty well, using my various powers. Look out! There's a cat behind you! Ah, that's not gonna work on me, fool. I tried making it angry like I did with the other one, but this one knew how to keep its cool. Just when I thought I was gonna beat it, it grew even bigger. Now it was way too strong. Ah, I gotta go! I couldn't take him. I had to run away again. That's right. Keep running like the coward you are. I'm not a coward. I just know when to walk away from a fight. I needed help if I was gonna fight this thing. I needed my dad. I headed back home, being careful that I wasn't being followed. Before I got there, I went mining and got myself enough diamonds for a full diamond armor set. There. Now I should be able to take a few more hits. On days 30 through 33, Ghost's parents were getting nervous. Hey, uh, I thought you said she'd be here with you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not strong enough to rescue her right now, but I will do everything I can to reunite her with you. What the heck actually happened, bro? After we were chased by the hunter, she was taken captive by creeper spiders. 
Oh no, that's even worse than I thought! Please tell me you'll rescue her as soon as possible! Yes, I will. But first, I need to work on the base. You guys need a place to stay, and I need to find a safe way to get back to the nether. I started by making a house for Ghost's family. I added things I thought Witherbolds might like, and tried to make them as comfortable as possible, considering the circumstances. Next, I built a new nether portal away from the first one, so I wouldn't teleport into the same spot as I was before. I didn't want to have to deal with those piglins again. With that, it was time to venture back into the nether and find my dad, so he could help me fight the spider creeper. I looked around, and eventually I spotted a wither skeleton escorting a prisoner away. Maybe if I follow them, I could find my way to the withered base. I followed closely behind them, and they led me to a prison camp. Dang, this definitely isn't their main base. I ran in to fight the guards and get some information. They were tough, but they weren't too much for me. I left one alive so I could interrogate it. But before the interrogation, I let the prisoners out. Where is your main base of operation? Tell me. Ah, here, I got a map to the location. Please, just don't hurt me. On days 34 through 37, I followed the directions I'd collected to find the withered base. I managed to sneak into the base without being detected and went straight for the prison. My dad was there, being guarded by a group of wither skeleton knights. Looks like they brought out the big guns for him. Just then, they spotted me. Hey, it's the half warden freak. Boys, please, I'm half wither. We can work this out. Heck no, get him. They charged at me and started hitting me with their swords. They were super strong, and there were way too many of them. I did my best to fight them off with my powers, but I was losing. Ah! There's too many of them! Dad! Use your sonic boom! I don't know how! You never taught me! The power's within you! Just reach for it! I reached deep inside of me and found the power within. I started blasting everybody with my sonic boom, and it was super effective against them. I blew them to pieces, and pretty soon, they were were all defeated. I let my dad out of his cage. I did it! I beat them all, dad! Good work, son. I'm proud of you. Let's go home. On days 38 through 41, we got back to the base and started to prepare to take on the giant creeper spider. I started by going mining and crafting some armor for my dad so he would be better protected. Next, I reinforced some of the houses in the city to protect them from my grandfather. Next, I added a central square to the city with an armory to get suited up in. Once that was done, I approached Ghost's parents. I'm getting really worried about Ghost. We need to help find her now. Yes, I want to come with you. I can help you save her. No way, dude. It's too dangerous for a little guy like you. Hey! My dad overheard our conversation and came up behind me. I understand how you feel. I was really worried about Bronzo when I was in prison. But there's no reason to act recklessly. Let us handle it. I promise we'll come back with your daughter. Okay, fine. Take this to help you. He handed me five golden apples. Whoa, thank you. I decided I was ready to go. My dad and I set out to take on the massive beast. On days 42 through 45, my dad and I approached the creeper camp. If we sneak in, we can take him by surprise. Okay, let's do it. My dad and I snuck in to take on the giant creeper spider, but there was a creeper we didn't see who ran up behind us and exploded. The sound of the explosion got the main creeper spider's attention. You should have stayed in your caves now die. Not today. We both sprung into action, using everything in our disposal to wear down the giant hybrid monster. I could tell we were doing a significant amount of damage to him. It was an even match, and if it continued like this, it seemed like we might all just kill each other at once. Just then, someone interrupted the fight. Boys, boys, please, we can use our words here. I'm sorry, my king. They were attacking the camp. They took our friend captive. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Set their friend free at once! Right away, your majesty! I'm just happy that nobody else had to get hurt. Wait, what about the hunter piglin? The hunter is a war criminal, as we have been in conflict with the piglins for many years. So, he will be staying with us for now. As for your friend, we have no quarrel. I know through this war we should be enemies with the wardens, but I did not make my alliance with the whisperer to fight the wardens. Only the piglins! You are free to go, but 
do not return or there will be an issue. You understand? I understand. Thank you, your majesty. I felt kind of bad, but I figured the piglin hunter was better being captive here than chasing after us. On days 46 through 49, we were all at the base, happy to have the gang back together again. But something was bothering me. Man, I kind of wish we set the hunter free. Wait, seriously? Son, I'm sorry, but that's a stupid idea. Yeah, he was gonna kill us. I know it sounds stupid, but it's the right thing to do. I mean, technically, I'm the reason he's trapped. It doesn't matter what's right at this moment. It's about what's smart. We're dealing with an ongoing war after all. I know. I also know he's strong and capable enough to handle a wild mutant hoglin, so he'd be good to have as an ally. I still have dreams about being stuck in a cage with that thing. You do realize that breaking him out could escalate the war even further. But what if I get Granddad's approval to attack? Hmm. And we should try talking to the Deep King first. After all, the Piglins do fight for him. Well, then I guess it would be good to have the Hunter. Agreed. Let's head out to meet with your grandfather soon. Sounds good to me. I traveled to the old ancient city with my dad on days 50 through 53. We were immediately met with the blind guards I escaped from before. Uh, hello again. Could we pass to get in to speak with my grandfather? That voice again. No stinking way you're getting in. I demand to talk to my father now. Oh, 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 I'll get him for you, your highness. The guard ran off in a hurry to go get the king. They returned to the entrance shortly after, and my granddad stepped out to talk to us. Hello again. We need your help, actually. And just what might that be? I'm a busy man, you know. We need your help freeing the Piglin King's hunter. He's been trapped by the King Llama Spider. The Piglin Hunter? Fine. I'll help. But only because of the piglins and their alliance with the wardens, not because of you. With the Deep King ready to help, we began making plans to attack the creeper spiders in the King's War Room. While I should be able to provide a good amount of help, it may be beneficial to have the piglins aid the rescue as well. It might serve us well for you and Ghost to get the piglins to help with the attack. Right. In that case, let's head back and get Ghost, then head to the Piglin base. Dad and I were about to leave when my grandfather stopped us. Not so fast. But I'm allied with the Piglins. I still can't trust you two, since you could be trying to trick me. My son stays here as collateral. What? That's ridiculous! No, son. We need his help, so we should play by his rules. You'll be fine without me for a bit. I believe in you. Well, all right. I'll be back back soon, Dad. I returned to my base alone to tell Ghost the plans. On days 54 through 57, Ghost and I returned to the Nether and made our way back to the Piglin base. I hope they actually listen, but Granddad seemed convinced they would. I still don't trust that guy. He sounds rude. I know, but he's on our side, for now at least. We arrived at the base, and the Piglins looked surprised to see us. We need to see your king. Right on cue, the Piglin king came out to see what the commotion was about. What's this about? I'm too busy. Is he looking for my hunter to deal with escapees? We came because your hunter has been captured by the creepers. We want to rescue him, but we'll need your help. They what? Wait, but why should I trust you? Because my grandfather is the Deep King. He gives his blessing to attack the creeper spider's base and suggests we get your help to do so. The Deep King? Well, why didn't you tell us from the beginning? I apologize for trying to imprison you and your friend. Awesome! We'll see you there then. Come on, Ghost. As Ghost and I were leaving the Piglin's territory, a mutant wither skeleton was waiting for us. He had a squire with him as well. <sighs> So the piglins were hiding this thing. Squire, send word to the Whisperer at once. Tell her we found the warden with her in the piglins' territory. The squire rode off immediately, and I started to panic. The Whisperer? No! Come back here! Before I could chase after the squire, the mutant wither skeleton took out swords and lunged forward to attack. He slashed at us, and I flew up to avoid him. I tried to hit him with my wither skulls, but they did very little damage. The skeleton started chasing Ghost, and she tried tried to fight back, but was losing too much health. I got his attention again, and he started to shoot flames at me. I remembered my golden apples and ate one to regain some strength. With the extra bit of health, I was able to focus on my attacks. I used my sonic boom, and he took much more damage. I got several more good hits on him, and he finally perished by exploding into multiple pieces. Ghost, hurry and warn the Deep King what just happened. If the Whisperer is after me, then she'll attack the Piglins too, now that she knows that they're on our side. 
on it. Ghost quickly sprinted away to warn my dad and grandfather. I need to hurry before the squire comes back with the whisperer. I flew back quickly on days 58 through 61 and went straight to the king. What are you doing back again? I thought we were meeting at- I know, but the whisperer spies found us. Is there any way you can come with me now instead? We need to hurry before she can interfere with the plan. Of course I will. If she's coming, then I'm even more worried about my hunter. I and my pet, the mutant hoglin, will come with you at once. I need to be sure that my hunter and heir to my throne will be safe. Heir to the throne? That piglin isn't just my best hunter. He's also my son, the prince. The king then blew on a flute and the mutant hoglin appeared. Lead the way. I led them back to my nether portal and found that the whisperer was already there waiting for us. Oh no, we're too late. There you are. So the squire was correct after all. I'll take her on. You take the mutant hoglin and save my son. Before I could object, he tossed me the flute he used to control the hoglin and ran into battle. And as they fought, I quickly hopped through the portal with the hoglin and broke it behind us. During day 62 to 66, I returned to the ancient city with the bad news. Where's, Where's the, the king? king? He was attacked by the Whisperer, and I'm sad to say, he probably didn't make it, which is why we seriously need to set the prince free now. Prince, what's the meaning of this? Yes, the hunter is actually the king's son. I hate to say it, but I will help you before things get too out of hand. Without the prince, there is no piglin successor, and our alliance will falter. Well then, let's prepare for battle. We all returned to my base and got suited up. As I was equipping my things, Grandpa pulled me to the side. Listen, son, I know I treated you wrong for a while, but hopefully, this makes it up to you. He then dropped an entire set of Warden Dragon armor. Thanks, Grandpa. I hope to put this to the test against the Creeper Spider. Once we were all suited up, we all did some training together. We began with Sonic booming some targets. Then Ghost had me test my reflexes by shooting my Wither Skulls at her when she popped up, kind of like a game of whack-a-mole. Finally, we all gathered around and began meditating to solidify our goal of defeating the Creeper Spider leader. Let's kill this multi-legged monster. Before heading out, we needed a plan. Listen up, everyone. Ghost, your objective is to find the prince and release him without causing too much damage. Dad and Gramps, you two will take on the larger creeper soldiers, and I will try and distract the giant creeper spider until the prince is freed. Then we can all team up and kill the giant creeper leader. Hopefully, all goes as planned. Roger, roger. I'm ready to win. Oh, and one more thing, I got the mutant hoglin on our side, so we should be pretty strong. Let's rock! We arrived at the creeper spider base, and I immediately blew the flute and charged in with my small but powerful army. Creeper spider leader, come get some! How dare you return to my land? While Dad and Gramps fought the foot soldiers, Ghost was out looking for the prince. The battle raged on, and quickly this time, I had the mutant hoglin fighting alongside me. You think you can bring this pig in here and not suffer the consequences? Watch this. The creeper spider then let out a massive explosion, instantly killing the mutant hoglin. No! Oops, did I do that? Grandpa, let's focus our power on the leader now. The two of us pounced onto the monstrous creeper spider, but they kept putting up a good fight. That's it. You're all making me super angry. I thought making them upset would make them self-destruct, but he got even larger than before. Okay, Gramps, let's channel our sonic booms together. With both of us spamming our sonic booms, the creeper spider leader had no choice but to feel pain chipping away at them. No, no, no! Good job, Gramps! I got the prince, guys! Sup? Everything was going according to plan, until... You again? Never mind! I have a present for you! What? Why would you have a surprise for me? I betrayed you! Not for you! <laughs> no! The Whisperer! The King Llama Spider threw a withered nether star to the Whisperer, and soon after, chaos ensued! Now you can witness me at the Wither Storm! The Wither Storm started tearing through blocks, destroying everything in its path! <laughs> what did you do, you little llama loser? Just then, King Llama Spider was hit by a blast and injured! <laughs> No, the consequences of my actions! I thought this would end the war! No, fool! This is only the beginning! I'm finally strong enough to rid all wardens from this planet, especially after you killed my daughter, Deep King! 
With that, the wither storm flew off to cause more destruction. It seemed like all hope was lost. I turned to the King Llama Spider. You better have a way to fix this, fool. You cannot reverse what has been done, but I do know the location of another withered nether star. You may be able to transform yourself and defeat the Whisperer. Where is it? Tell me! The only way to find it is to find the tallest tree at the top of Mount Maestro. There guarding the star is a wizard, but be wary, he is... Hansa, I'm sorry for everything. I must prepare the wardens for the end of the war, and possibly the world. With that, he flew off, and I turned to the others. We should do the same. Things are about to get crazy. On days 75 through 78, we made a space in the base for the Prince of Piglins. I made sure he felt at home, with plenty of gold and other nethery things. Thank you, Bronzo. But, uh, I need to return to the nether. I have to find out if my father is still alive. All right, buddy. Do what you gotta do. I realized that when I transform into a Warden Wither Storm, I was going to be huge, and the whole base would be too small for me. I asked Ghost what she thought about that. Why don't we just clear out the roof and dig all the way up to the surface? Good idea, Ghost. I got to work digging, and eventually I was able to dig out the entire roof. Now I would be able to fit once I had a massive storm body. Just then, a creeper spider showed up with a message for me. Sir, our new leader wishes to make a truce with you, the Wardens, and the Piglins. We want to be on the right side of history, and we offer our services if you need them. Tell your new leader I humbly accept this new alliance, whoever that may be. He is our temporary leader. The Creeper Spiders are becoming a republic, and we will be voting for a new leader soon. That's great to hear. I look forward to meeting your new president. On days 79 through 82, it was time to become the Warden Witherstorm. I started my journey to Mount Maestro to find the wizard and get the withered nether star. As I was traveling, I came across a village, but everybody ignored me. Huh, what's their problem? I was about to continue on my way when an old man appeared who didn't seem afraid. Oh, don't mind them. They think your scary self will disappear if they ignore you. What do you seek here, Withered Warden? I need to find the Withered Nether Star, guarded by the wizard on Mount Maestro. I know the way, but I am much too old to guide you. That's okay. Can you give me directions? Yes, just travel through the woods to the west, towards the swamp. Once you're in the swamp, you will see it, but be careful of the trees. They fight back. <laughs> I started traveling through the trees like he said, when suddenly giant tentacle-like trees started attacking me. These must be the trees he was talking about. Using my Wither Warden powers, I was able to fight through them all and make it all the way through the swamp. When I got to the mountain, I looked up and towering above me was Mount Maestro. I traveled to the top of the massive mountain and when I got there, I discovered the old man from the village. Wait, what are you doing here? Never underestimate anyone. Suddenly, he transformed into a wizard. There you go, Bronzo. Use it well. He handed me the withered nether star, and I transformed into a warden wither storm. I also got a new laser ability called Warden's Breath. Whoa, awesome. I'm huge. On days 83 through 86, I thanked the wizard for his help. Why don't you try out your new laser powers, eh? Okay, here it goes. I blasted my laser through the mountain, cutting the entire thing in half. Well, there goes my home. My bad. No, no, I brought this upon myself. Be careful, Bronzo. There's no turning back now. Oh, I will. With that, I headed off. It was time to go back home. On my way back, I passed through the village from earlier and it was being destroyed by the wither storm. Oh no, I gotta stop her. I ran in and started blasting her with my new awesome laser power, but that barely even phased her. <laughs> you foolish weakling, I'm out of here. As she was leaving, I was starting to doubt myself, but the wizard appeared again. Remember, appearances can be deceiving. On days 87 through 90, I made it back to the base and flew in through the top. Oh my gosh, you're huge. 
Let's see that Wither Storm take you on, my boy. Well, actually, I still don't think I'm strong enough to take on the Wither Storm. I still need to get stronger. Hmm, I know just the thing, but I need to go get it for you. My dad left, and shortly after, a spider creeper arrived with another message. Mister, mister, it's an emergency. Our base has been totally destroyed by the Wither Storm. It's all in shambles. Okay, I'm on my way. Run away, it's not safe. What if it's another trick? I'm not scared anymore. I'm a dang Warden Wither Storm. With that, I set out to follow the messenger to the base. On days 91 through 93, I arrived at the Spider Creeper base, but in the center of it was a giant crater. The Spider Creeper leader was there waiting for me, and I was shocked. Wait, I thought I killed you. I respawned, duh. Not all of us are playing on hardcore mode. Oh, that still doesn't make sense, but whatever. Also, the election just finished and I'm their president now. Congratulations. Sorry about your home though. Do you want to come live in my city? That would be great. My people need a home. I took them back to the base and Ghost and her family made a home for them to share. Thank you so much for your help. Sorry for trying to kill you before. No hard feelings. The true enemy is the Wither Storm and I'm happy to have you on our side. Sorry again that she destroyed your home. Well, as a creeper spider, I prefer it here. That's good to hear. If you need me, I'll be meditating by the water. On days 94 through 96, I was meditating by the water when the Deep King, Piglin Hunter, and Creeper Spider approached me. I'm sorry to say that I don't think any of us can help you in this battle. Only you are powerful enough to take on the Wither Storm. I don't think I'm ready. At least, not without help. Suddenly, the wizard appeared before me once again. Hey, I thought I told you never to underestimate anyone. How many times are you going to tell me that, old man? As many as it takes for you to understand that this also includes yourself. Oh, I get it now. I'm more powerful than I think. With that, he disappeared just as quickly as he appeared. Uh, who is that? Just then, my dad arrived. Dad, it's good to see you. I've got something for you. It's called the Sacred Warden Heart. It's said to belong to the first warden. I picked it up and immediately gained 10 more hearts. How did you obtain this? It belongs to your great, 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 great grandfather. They preserved it in case of catastrophic emergency, and this is definitely one. Good. I think I'm ready to destroy the Wither Storm once and for all. Everyone, please gather around. I have something important to say. I have gathered you all to tell you some very important information. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Comment on what I should be next video, and subscribe to keep supporting the channel. Oh, oh, you should be a creeper spider in the next one. Um, nah. Oh, what about a Wither Ball? That's what I am. It's like a coho but a wither. No, okay, no more questions. I must go on and defeat the Wither Storm before she turns into a Wither Mega Storm or something like that. I began leaving the base when Dad stopped me for one more thing. Remember who you're fighting for, son. All the creatures you're gonna save for this. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I traveled towards the Wither Storm and I was met with some Wither creatures trying to stop me. You are all no match for me. I'm ultra powerful now, and soon your Wither Storm leader will be defeated. I quickly made waste of the beast and continued on my way. After a lot of traveling, I finally found the Wither Storm on day 99 and got their attention. It's over. This war has to stop. It'll never be over. Not until every single warden dies, including you. The sky quickly darkened as a large thunderstorm formed. The Whisperer was enraged and began attacking. With her new abilities, she struck me with lightning. I did my best to dodge, but kept getting zapped regardless. Then she started to fire void bullets at me. Please stop, we can work this out. She wasn't listening. So I kept fighting back, using all of my weapons to their max potential. With my wither skills and sonic beam combined, I was able to hold my own against her. She shot me with a powerful laser beam, and I surprised her by doing the same back. <sighs> my daughter should have listened when I told her not to mingle with a warden. She died a fool. You're wrong. Mom was the best ever. You're the worst grandmother to ever exist. What? How dare you speak to your elder like that? 
Her anger had gone from giving her strength to becoming the perfect distraction. She lashed out blindly, and it gave me the opening I needed to defeat her. The Wither Storm vanished! I did it! I brought down the Wither Storm! I then transformed back into my original form. I looked at where the Wither Storm had been and spotted a white version of the Whisperer standing in its place. On day 100, the sun rose from the clouds, and Whisperer the White stood before me. I'm sorry for everything. The hate must have taken over me. Either that, or you were extremely hungry. Here, take these materials and you can build Wither. Um, okay. I did as the Whisperer asked, and when I completed the build, Mom appeared! Mom! Dad! You're here too? We're all back together! For 